And the Gopal. We've been seeing for the last one week politics speaking over Rahul Gandhi's disqualification. Surprisingly, you've had the likes of United States and now Germany also wading in and weighing in on Rahul's disqualification on something that's India's internal matter. Congress leader Digvijay Singh has now come out to thank Germany for taking note of Rahul Gandhi's disqualification, leading to a flurry of comments from the BJP. Let's first round up all the reactions that have come in on the story. Gegen den indischen Oppositionspolitiker Rahul Gandhi zur Kenntnis genommen. The foreign interference raga is back in focus. This time over Congress welcoming a comment by Germany on Rahul Gandhi's disqualification. The German foreign ministry had this to say this about Rahul's disqualification. Wir haben das erstinstanzliche Urteil gegen den indischen Oppositionspolitiker Raul Gandhi zur Kenntnis genommen, ebenso wie die Suspendierung seines Parlamentsmandats. Nach unserer Kenntnis stehen Herrn Gandhi gegen das Urteil Rechtsmittel offen. Dann wird sich zeigen, ob dieses Urteil Bestand hat und ob die Voraussetzung für die Suspendierung des Mandats überhaupt gegeben ist. Wir erwarten, dass die Standards in Bezug auf die Unabhängigkeit der Justiz und demokratische Grundprinzipien auch für das Verfahren gegen Rahul Gandhi gelten. Congress's Dick Vijaya Singh tweeted his thanks to Germany, a country that is attempting to preach to India on democratic and judicial principles. Dick Vijaya's endorsement of foreign support sparked a political storm with the BJP lashing out. Union ministers like Anurag Thakur and Kiran Rijiju led the attack against Congress. In Nasamji me kiwi tipani pe bhi jo log khush ho rahe उनका चरित्र इसके साथ उद्घाटित हो जाता है शरद दिग्विजय सिंह पे उनके मंतव्य भी इसके साथ में उद्घाटित हो जाते हैं कि ये वही लोग हैं जो भारत के विरोध में भारत के लोकतंत्र में हस्तक्षेप करने के लिए दुनिया की दूसरी ताकतों से अपेक्षा करते हैं Realizing Digvijaya had scored another self goal for his party the Congress attempted damage control हम तो इस बात से ज्यादा सजग हैं कि भारत के लोग जो पूछ और जो देख रहे हैं उसका जवाब पहले दीजिए कौन विदेश में क्या कह रहा है उससे हमें क्या मतलब है भारत के लोग क्या पूछ रहे हैं उसका जवाब आप कब दीजिएगा ये पते की बात है क्योंकि आप अगर एक शब्द समझते और जानते हैं उसका रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग होता है सरकार को एक रिजल्ट चाहिए था कि राहुल गांधी सदन में अडानी का नाम न ले ये उनका रिजल्ट था कांग्रेस जस्ट वीक्स अगो वॉज इन द रिसीविंग एंड ऑफ द एग्जैक्ट सेम बैक लैश वेन राहुल गांधी he in uk made a comment about foreign intervention so the surprising thing is that the the so called defenders of democracy which are the united states uh, european countries seem to just be oblivious that a huge chunk of the democratic model has come undone right which is a real problem Congress welcoming Germany's comment on Rahul's disqualification comes at a time when even the United States put out a statement over India's internal affairs. Respect for the rule of law and judicial independence is a cornerstone of any democracy and we're uh, watching Mr. Gandhi's case in Indian courts and uh, we engage with the government of India on our shared uh, commitment to democratic values including of course freedom of expression. In our engagements with uh, our Indian partners we continue to highlight the importance of democratic principles and the protection of human rights uh, including freedom of expression uh, as a key to strengthening uh, both our democracies. Congress now is distancing themselves but with a senior leader like Digvijaya Singh endorsing Germany's statement has the political damage already been done with Mosimi Singh in Delhi bureau report India today All right, let's open this up. Joining me here on to the point this evening is Sanjay Varma, spokesperson of the BJP. We also have Sanjay Jha, political analyst, joining us this evening. Good evening to both of you. Mr. Sanjay Jha, I tend to wonder if this is what Rahul Gandhi wanted when he referred to foreign intervention a few weeks ago. Well, let me tell you, this is absolute bunkum and border dash. And let me debunk this entire notion right away. give me just uh, just a couple of minutes and i will sure. explain that to you number 1 both these countries are part of the g20 you think they don't have their foreign affairs department you think they don't know what's going on around the world the supreme court of india yesterday has called mr modi's government impotent incapable and incompetent is what is called you think the world is not hearing that and let me point out to you that where is this an interference 
I mean, today, by the way, if Mr. Modi's government believes this is foreign interference, what are they waiting for? Go take it up with the German government and go take it up with the US instead of sitting here and trying to make cheap political points. And most important of all, I'll give you an example. Mr. Modi called Barack Obama to become the chief guest at the Republic Day Parade in 2015. Guess what Mr. Barack Obama said when he went back to the US? I'm going to quote him for you. And this is not foreign interference, right? Mahatma Gandhi would have been shocked at the acts of intolerance in the country once famous for his diversity. Joe Biden has criticized this government on the CAA and the NRC. Kamala Harris, the vice president of the US, has questioned human rights violations in Kashmir. Anthony Blinken, the secretary of state, has talked about religious okay. freedom in India. And we are talking here about foreign interference. Well, if these are cases of foreign interference, I never heard Mr. Modi say anything to Barack Obama or to Anthony Blinken or to Kamala Harris or to Joe Biden. So this is nothing but cheap, crude politicking uh, being done by the BJP, Akshita. which has no answers to the one question that Rahul Gandhi and the opposition is asking. What is Adani ji and Modi ji? Ka May I? Okay, Sanjay Jha, you've got your chance to give your opening comments. Sanjay Varma, your response. Is this more telling of the Modi government's diplomacy than really about whether the Congress is supporting it or not? Akshita, uh, you know, uh, since uh, Sanjay Jha uh, spoke at length about Barack Obama, I will just for the benefit of your viewers quote from Barack Obama's famous book, his memoir actually, uh, titled A Promised Land. Where this is what Barack Obama has to say about Rahul Gandhi, and I'm quoting Barack Obama ad verbatim without adding any masala. He says about Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi has a nervous, unformed quality about him. Rahul Gandhi is like a student eager to impress the teacher, but lacking aptitude and passion to master the subject. So Rahul Gandhi has been actually robbed of whatever little credibility he had by none other than Barack Obama, who Sanjay Jha was quick okay. to quote from. Now, I will just give you one example. Sanjay Jha quoted Anthony Blinken, Kamala Harris, blah, blah, blah. So now, it is only fit that I remind the Congress that be it UK MP Bob Blackman, be it UK MP Karan Moria, be it UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, be it the head of IMF, one of the most, uh, you know, uh, respected ladies in the financial arena, Kristalina Georgieva, be it the chief of World Bank, David Malpass, be it the head of, the head of Bridgewater Associates, a man called Ray Dalio, and respected as the world's best investor after Warren Buffet, or for that matter, be it the head of McKinsey, Mr. Bob Sternfels. You know what all these okay. people have said in the last 12 to 15 months? They have said one thing. Each one of them has said that if there is one thing you need to learn from Narendra Modi and India's leadership okay. during the worst pandemic in 102 years, that is Corona, it is how to manage a crisis and okay, reach we've got out your to point. the world. That we've is what got your point, Sanjay Varma. We've got your point, but you know, we'll go back and forth if we start quoting what each world leader has said about India during Congress, during BJP. My question to you, Sanjay well, Jha, you know, is what long, gives the long, right... Long, let me finish. No, I let you... I, seconds, no, please. no, I, I gave you the equal amount of time, Sanjay Varma. I knew you were me, going to count the minutes, so I no, counted no, no, the minutes myself. One second. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Sanjay Jha, who gives Germany, United States the right to question our democracy, to question our judiciary? And is that something that really should be welcomed by any party? Why should you have a Digvijay Singh saying thank you to Germany for questioning our democratic principles and our judiciary? Well, you know, the simple answer, this is the way you know, international diplomacy works. Don't we in India comment on what's happening in Russia uh, and Ukraine? Don't we comment on what happens in Pakistan or Bangladesh? I mean, this is diplomacy. These are G20 countries. India is, by the way, hosting this. Eh? We call ourselves a mother of democracy. The world is watching the murder of democracy. Have you seen the number of write-ups being done by all the international media, which is talking about the horrendous authoritarianism of this government? This government is repressive. I have quoted to you the Supreme Court that tells you that this government is impotent. 
can anybody from the bjp challenge that they can't because this government looks away from governance it is playing crude communal politics it is throttling the opposition we know the state of the cbi and the ed and we know how even the press in this country is hardly independent no but so when we talk about when we talk about the conviction of rahul not. gandhi sanjay ja when you talk about the conviction of rahul gandhi and the subsequent disqualification it is an internal matter of the country well let me tell you something can i can i tell you something here worldwide people engage not just with the government and power they in they actually are very keen to find out what's happening with the opposition by the way when leaders come from abroad they meet leaders of the opposition you think people sure. are not worried no no you i need read? to rebut please i'll give you a chance i'll Sanders give you a chance i'll give you a chance just a minute where is the foreign interference that you think the german government doesn't have its own independent foreign affairs and by the way why does the pdp fund this can't be the pdp's part of the problem okay sanjay you made your point sanjay varma go ahead don't make cheap points and you know, yeah, let me come in now and you know you you've engaged in a rather lengthy monologue now let me have my say you know akshita oh, yeah. i just want to say one thing to you you know congress has a way very convenient memory or rather should i say they suffer from selective amnesia sanjay jha today has voted the supreme court at least half a dozen times in the last 10 odd minutes this is the same congress party when in june 2022 last year in a historic verdict the supreme court gave a unconditional clean chit to narendra modi saying that there was no criminal conspiracy by narendra modi in the 2002 gujarat riots what did you see after 24 hours after 24 hours the head of congress party's communication cell mr jairam ramesh along with senior leaders like ajay makan held a rally at jantar mantar standing in support and solidarity with the likes of a much tainted pista setal rod and undermining the supreme court verdict so sanjay jha and the rahul gandhi acolytes who keep undermining the independence of our judiciary at their own whims and fancy do not need to give a lesson on political propriety to the bjp if you really want to fight it out electorally then just tell me one thing when narendra modi was hounded for 20 long years did you see any bjp spokespersons or senior leaders you know waving black flags and holding protests at jantar mantar no we fought it out legally because we believe in the independence of our judiciary again amit shah was indicted in the sorabuddin fake encounter case which happened in 2005 and he was given a clean chit in 2014 by the cbi court but your congress confidant of sonia gandhi harsh mandar went to the supreme court in 2016 supreme court upheld the cbi court's verdict and gave a clean chit to amit shah and yet you derided the supreme court and you stop at nothing to mock amit shah in every debate okay. so you are the last person who should be giving me a bhashan on political propriety apne girbaan mein jhank kar dekhiye do you have any credibility left to lecture the bjp you are vanquished no. electorally your Sanjur. leader has been convicted your leader is disqualified if he has the gumption let him fight it out in courts rather than whining and sulking on national television through his darbaris no once again sanju varma there is one uh, you know a uh, comment that always comes in from the congress when you refer to all that's happening and you say that there's foreign support that congress is supporting which is that uh, the prime minister when he had in fact gone abroad also spoke about india a certain way say earlier you felt ashamed of being born indian now you feel proud to represent the country so what about those kind of comments then aren't you maligning india then on foreign soil you know akshita exactly on this particular issue i have uh, done a debate uh, and on this particular show your colleague preeti was the anchor and we had established that prime minister narendra modi has never defamed india he has quoted about things like lack of sanitation which is true under 40 50 or 60 odd years that the congress ruled india for the longest time a sanitation penetration was 39% today it is close to 100% and we are a oda free country so the prime minister talks about swachh bharat and 11 crore plus toilets being built just in the last 8 and a half years if the prime minister says that in 70 uh, you know in 60 odd years you only had 90000 kilometers of highways and narendra modi has added another 1.5 lakh kilometer of highways in just 7 and a half or 8 and a half odd years he is laying down facts but when rahul gandhi says that why are europe and the us 
oblivious to the fact that a large chunk of democracy has come undone in India. He is yeah. clearly asking for the balkanization of India with no ifs or buts whatsoever. So we cannot compare two statements. It is like comparing apples with watermelons. And let me tell you, Akshita, Rahul okay. Gandhi is a repeat offender. In 2022, just 10 seconds, he was again in the UK. And this man never learns uh, from his mistakes. You know what he said? He said the CBI and the ED in India are chewing up the Indian state much like the deep state in Pakistan. Rahul okay. Gandhi has the audacity to compare the, the you know, largest democracy in the world with the mothership of terror called Pakistan. And then you have Darbaris like Big Vijay, who actually in 2011 called Osama Ji ki hatya ho One second. Hai. Yeah. Sonia Sanju. Gandhi, who shed copious tears at the okay. House and Sanju Verma, I have given you adequate okay. time now. These Sanjay Jha, I'll just come to you. Give me a second. I see that your hand is raised, but I just want to introduce our National Affairs Editor, Rahul Srivastava, also on this. Rahul, good evening. I'm sure you've been hearing this heated debate that's currently on uh, between Sanju Verma and Sanjay Jha. What do you make of this debate, essentially? Do you believe that there's any merit to this claim that Congress is endorsing foreign... Uh, support and foreign intervention? Akshita, good evening. See, I think uh, the world has changed. Politics in India has changed. Every political party, every gov party in government and opposition brings in newer styles of politics. And in that scenario, over the last few years, we have seen what happens outside India uh, comes to India and what happens in India goes outside. Means uh, playbooks are there. Now, interestingly, we talk about how uh, foreign countries and developed nations have been praising India and suddenly we find that there is a narrative which is slightly different. But the fact is one cannot, one cannot ever consider a Germany or USA or UK as a benchmark of great protectors of democracy because if we say that, then we'll have to ignore the fact that they have dealt with despots, authoritarian rules and homes to terror. Now, beyond yeah. that point, this is not a good occasion for all this to be happening. One, for the BJP, there is a G20 on. Uh, G20 in which Prime Minister Narendra Modi is likely to meet Mr. Biden four times, I think, in the next coming months. Uh, he's likely to meet uh, the Canadians. He's likely to meet the Singaporeans and several others. At that time, any escalation of this front because mm -hmm. of this issue can be bad news. Also, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a fact that somewhere... The reaction from uh, Germany and USA and others eventually should not be celebrated upon because it's one, not good news for India. Second, also, the BJP will definitely know what we'll try to do is use it as an example that it is because of Rahul Gandhi's statements, X, Y, Z is happening and there are reactions coming. But the fact is that this whole, uh, the whole quarters, the whole space for having foreign nations talking about India has been opened. The floors has been opened for a very long time. The criticism of Rahul Gandhi or the Congress has been happening outside and people have been bringing that criticism back to India in the electoral arena. Now, hmm. that's where lies the problem. You cannot link foreign policy directly to your elections in manner that it becomes daily football in your domestic politics. Right. Rahul, let's take it forward from there. Sanjay Jha, your point has been noted, and that's something Rahul also has mentioned, that foreign nations have always done it, have always made these kind of points about what's happening uh, in other countries. But at the end of the day, as Rahul said, this isn't good news for India. Forget the BJP. It's not good news for India when these kind of comments are made. Absolutely. And let me tell you why your question is very, very valid. And I'll answer you based on my experience of having worked with international mutual funds and foreign banks. When we go and talk to them about the fact that we got a foreign direct investment into our country, what does a country really look at when they invest in another country? They look at your country risk. They look at your political risk. How safe is that country? What is its democratic structure? You can't have the cake and eat it too. Let's remember that. So if you get an FDI, those countries are watching your press freedom index. We know how abysmal India has become. They're watching your democracy index. They're watching, you know, the, the, the reporters 
without borders, when they look at how our journalists treated in this country, Rahul Srivastav is a veteran journalist. I would love him to respond to whether there is press freedom in this country. How is RTI today being dismantled? These are all aspects which are looked at by foreign governments. Absolutely. And for God's sake, the yeah. biggest joke, I can tell you this, that if, if a comment by the German government or the U.S. State Department is deemed as foreign interference, basically it tells you how dictatorial we have become. We are telling oh, the foreign government that you don't have the right to have your own foreign state department. And by the way, if it is so objectionable, instead of targeting poor Digvijay Singh and Rahul Gandhi, they are not running the United Nations. Rahul Gandhi is not the president of the US, and Digvijay Singh is Akshita. not the president of the United Nations. Why do go and object and lodge, ask the ambassador to come and explain? Don't you know come your points? TV. Go to May the I diplomatic please? Your points are taken. However, I will add that, you know, some of the indices that you mentioned, there will be questions on that because they often tend to rate India very low, even on issues that you would think India scores way better than maybe even war-torn countries. But that aside, Sanju Varma, questions will be asked right now of why countries like Germany, like America, are reacting. The reality is that Rahul Gandhi, after he made that comment in the UK, came back to India and didn't get a chance to speak in Parliament because we've seen a complete washout. You know, Akshita, uh, a very pertinent question. And, you know, I will just uh, first uh, give a rejoinder to what Sanjay has said. I have worked in the biggest bulge bracket firm internationally, JP Morgan. You know, so I know a lot more about how foreign investors think than a lot of other people who claim to be, uh, you know, uh, having done that. I will just say this to you, Akshita, that the average annual foreign direct investment under the 10 years of UPA 1 and UPA 2 never was in excess of 12 or 13 billion dollars and do you know what is the amount of foreign direct investment i'm not even talking about foreign institutional investment just fdi in the last 8.5 years of the narendra okay. Modi government is 523 billion dollars the highest yeah. ever in post independent india and that should tell you why today India is the world's second largest smartphone market? Point, point the taken, Sanjay Varma, but please answer my question as well. Sixth largest yes, stock market, the world's fourth largest automobile market. Point taken, Sanjay Varma, please answer my question though. Economy, the world's fifth largest economy in terms of nominal GDP having overtaken the United Kingdom. Akshita, just tell me one thing. These people who keep talking about democracy, khatre mein hai, I will tell you in just 30 seconds, I won't take a second beyond that. Democracy khatre mein tab thi when Jawaharlal Nehru, the great-grandfather of Rahul Gandhi, passed the First Amendment curbing free speech. Democracy khatre mein tab thi when Indira Gandhi imposed the 1975 emergency. Democracy khatre mein tab thi when Indira Gandhi imposed the 42nd Amendment in 1976, curbing the power of judicial review okay. of Indian courts. Democracy khatre mein tab thi when Rajiv Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi's father, brought in the anti-defamation bill. Democracy khatre mein tab thi when Sonia Gandhi and okay, Manmohan Singh tried to bring in the Hindu oh. communal violence bill. Thank God it never saw the light of the day. So point Sanjay taken, Jain, point taken. I've run out of time. And give a bhashar, I've run out of time. One final word, one final word to keep this as balanced as it can get to Rahul Srivastava. Rahul, uh, you know, with this kind of political narrative right now building up to 2024, how do you see this politically also evolving right now? Akshita, this narrative, uh, narrative is being built uh, and the Congress, it seems by doing, by pursuing that narrative has done one thing. It has edged past the crowd of opposition parties. It seems to be heading that uh, that uh, the group now. Now that's something, a definite achievement for Rahul Gandhi and for the Congress party. But I think on this issue, you see diplomacy is a multi-layered element. Uh, right now, a lot of Western countries are unhappy with India because of the stand we have taken on Moscow. That's our domestic policy. Uh, also, when they speak about something, you don't realize that they may be speaking out something else because Canada and UK Parliament debated uh, the farmers' protest in 2021. Now, these are the countries at the WTO have been asking that MSP should be scrapped, subsidies should be removed. But mm -hmm. the point is, if there is a democracy issue in this country about institutions being undermined, it has to be fought within the country it and the government has to listen to it. Otherwise, the public will decide. And Sanjay, as far as the freedom of press is concerned, we are ready to take the body blows 
and we will fight it out for ourselves. A great note to end this debate on. Thanks very much, Rahul. Thanks, Sanjay. Thanks, Sanju Varma, for joining us here on To The Point. We'll leave it to our viewers to decide. But what's very clear is that while these comments will continue to come in from other countries, do we really care about what they have to say about India's internal matters? Or is it something now that's seeped into our politics? I leave you with that thought. Thanks for watching. Good night. Age is just a number. This line fits perfectly for Dharam Chand from Haryana. He is 86 but is still running, jumping and winning medals. His secret? I give the kids this advice that you need to be with your parents. The fourth national masters athletics championship, which recently took place in Kurukshetra, saw more than 2,400 participants from 22 states. 72-year-old Mahavir Singh is one of them. I want to give this advice to them. They are far away from the game and the game. You have to play from the game. You have to play from the game. I have played for 40 years. Master Several women also participated in different events. मारे टाइम में लड़कियों को खेलने का मौका नहीं मिलता था। तो एक अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म मुझे लगता है कि ये हमें मिला है कि इस उम्र में आके भी हम मेहनत करके अपने अचीवमेंट्स दे सकते हैं। और एक ये ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है कि इस पे अगर आप आएंगे तो शायद मुझे जो लगता है अपने जीवन से जो लगता है कि हम किसी गलत ट्रैक पर नहीं जा� the message these athletes are sending is, it is never too late to chase your passion. Bureau Report, India Today.
Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjtag.com. Presented by R.P. Sanjeev Goenka Group, Growing Legacy. Co-presented by Century Ply, Aag Se Bachai. Co-presented by Macho Hint, Bade Aram Se. Co-powered by Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance. Is se zaruri kuch bhi nahi. The all new Hyundai Verna, Futuristic, Ferocious. <laughs> Good evening and welcome. You're watching the news track. I'm Rahul Kamal. On the show tonight, we're looking at the most important assembly election in the year 2023. It's the state of war in Karnataka. Who has the edge and why? And what could change between now and the 10th of May? All that and more coming up on the news track tonight. <laughs> 